I'm Michelle Lewis. I'm represented by Angels Nation, and this is my interview video. Tell us about the price. The price was filmed, I believe, back in um, 2014, 2015, and that was my um, first movie, short film, directed by Sean Anthony and co-starring uh, Jessica Felice and Stephen Candian. Uh, it was an interesting premise. Uh, and I've also done work in uh, it was called uh, Savage Squad by Golden Thrones Productions. That was a small role. Um, I have filmed uh, a couple of faith-based films, one called Scattered and another called Dawn, which is still in production. I am currently working on A Deadly Affair to Remember. We just filmed a short film of that back in November. And we are um, working on Redemption's Price and Beyond Dark, both of which were written by myself and my partner, Lauren Golding. And so that's what's going on right now. So how did you get the part for the price? I, I believe I met um, Jessica over Facebook, and she and I developed a friendship, and she offered me the role. And then once I met um, Sean, and he, he just immediately brought me on board. What about Savage Squad? How did you hear about Savage Squad? I answered a Facebook audition, like casting call, and I submitted uh, a monologue, I believe, and my resume. And I was, um, I wasn't initially selected for the role, but the person who they did select backed out, and so I was second in line. So they called me the night before and asked me to meet in Virginia Beach, which is about five hours away. So I had to, you know, it was a quick turnaround to go to Virginia Beach and shoot a film, but it was a lot of fun. What were the uh, Christian movies that you were in, the inspirational movies? What, what, who did you play? They were faith-based films. Uh, in Scattered, I was basically, um, I played an abortion nurse. I was somebody's flashback. Uh, um, uh, a character, her name was in, um, her name was Deborah Oval. She played a character who was dealing with um, a past that was kind of rocky, and so I was in her flashback as the abortion nurse. And in Dawn, I play a character um, named Wendy Poindexter, whose husband is a um, pornographic uh, addict, and he's also like a online predator, but she doesn't know it. She's eight months pregnant and already has two children, and so she's coming to terms with the fact that her husband is this nasty predator. So, Well, tell us about A Deadly Affair to Remember. A Deadly Affair to Remember was awesome. Um, that is where I met my production partner. Uh, she and I met on Facebook, as many people do these days. And um, so I met her, and then the next day she posted a casting call, which of course I immediately jumped on that, sent her a um, monologue, headshot, resume. And then she set up a Skype audition with me, and the rest is history. I play Annalise in that, um, the lead character who was played by Lauren. Her name is Emily, and I play Annalise, who is her best friend, and they become involved in a kind of a deadly love triangle. When is it being released? January 2017. Look for it. Awesome. Is there anything else you would like to talk about you as a, an actress and how you started? Um, I have wanted to be an actress since I was five years old. Uh, I got bit by the acting bug severely when I was 15 when I played Miss Hannigan in the high school production of Annie, for which I also won the acting award. And after that, the bug was just, I mean, I was hooked. And I didn't really get um, serious about acting because of a lot of fears and insecurities, but I finally just said, forget it, I'm doing this, back in about uh, 2013. And I've been acting full time ever since. So, what is one thing as an actress that you take away from all the productions you've worked on? Um, something that I take away from it? Um, a pure enjoyment is what I take away from it. It's, um, as an actor, I can't imagine doing anything else. This is what I was made for. Uh, you know, when I was younger, I used to doubt, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? You get the haters telling me, you can't do this, you can't do that, you'll never make it. And you start to believe that, but then you come to a point where you feel like, no, they're wrong, this is exactly where I belong, and everything starts working out and falling into your lap, opportunity after opportunity. And so when you finally just learn to trust yourself, 
then anything is possible. If this is where you're supposed to be, then that's where you need to be, and you need to go, and you need to chase it. And, you know, our motto is greater is coming and make your own way. So that's what we're doing. We're setting out to build our own little empire here and make a way for everybody who's struggling to get in. This We're trying to, you know, open doors for everybody. And uh, L&M Productions is all about if you're struggling and you want to, you know, you want an in, that's what Ellen and Productions is about. Trying to bring everybody in, get them exposed, get them out there, get them seen, make dreams happen for as many people as we can. What was one of the favorite productions that you worked on? Uh, absolutely, a, a deadly affair. I remember it was nothing but um, dirty jokes and laughs and um, just a great cast and crew. Developed lifelong friendships through that. And, and now that she and I are partners, every single shoot that we're on is going to be the most fun. It's just, it's a family relationship. She's my best friend, she's my sister now. Everything from here on out is going to be laughs and smiles and even if there are hard, hard times, we're gonna face them together. That's what best friends do, so. Ellen and Productions, 2017. Uh, and for those of you who are wondering, who is this amazing partner you have? I would like to introduce her now. Introducing the amazing Lauren Balding. Lauren Balding. <laughs> <Berlin. laughs> <Berlin. laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lauren Balding. Hello, hello. Hi everybody, I'm Lauren Balding. I'm represented by Evolution Talent Agency. And this is my production partner and best friend, Michelle Lewis. <laughs> 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 So Lauren, what, what, what were some of the projects that you have been in? Oh, good lord. Um, well, I've been acting since I was nine years old. So I've, I've been in a lot of plays. One of my favorite was definitely Grease. Um, I was just a, one of the little pink ladies in Grease, nothing too big, the one with the pigtails. Uh, the one that was very childish and immature, that was fun. I forgot her name. I did too. Oh, okay. Because it was an important character. No, it was important to me. It was important to me. I just That's think I got the part. Right. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> um, but I, I've been in several Christian plays, and then um, I actually went through Actors, Models, and Talents for Christ when I was about 30, um, and that's how I got represented by Evolution Talent Agency. I went through their program, um, and it was amazing because I made a lot of connections through that. We made a lot of connections just from starting Ellen in Productions as well. Yeah. Oh, some amazing talent has contacted us and all kinds of networking uh, people. Just yeah. amazing relationships are coming out of this. People are starting to notice who we are and reach out to us. And um, I'm just 100% confident we are. We've got nowhere to go but up from here. Absolutely. Some amazing things are coming. Absolutely. I worked with an incredible filmmaker uh, named Sharon Wilharm uh, on the the movie uh, Providence. With, in which I was a history teacher. It was a, it's a dialogue-free film, and that was kind of fun to work with some, that some good talent there. Um, and then I was a, a store book customer, bookstore customer for Love Different with Anthony Hackett and Jen Gostin, who is actually one of my personal mentors. Uh, Jen Gostin is an amazing woman. I really like working with her. Um, and then, you know, uh, I, I wasn't getting a, a lot of work, you know, Right now, it's it's I guess my acting slum. So I just started decided to start writing, and that's when I wrote a Deadly Affair to Remember. Um, you know, and that's how I met you know Michelle. And it, it's an incredible script. Now it's being turned into a feature film. So it's actually called a Deadly Affair Two: The Final Fight. Um, so it's been recasted, um, other than Michelle and I's parts, and it's it gets down and dirty. It's and good. she actually inspired me to write my own feature film through um, the help of another friend of ours that we met through mutually. Um, his name is Kenneth Tolbert. He came up with a movie idea and asked me to write it, so I did. Uh, after learning from Lauren the process of writing and directing, I was like, I got this. So I wrote it, and it's actually an amazing script, and that begins production in May of 2017. So look for that. You can follow us both on Facebook. Yep. Uh, there's Ellen in Productions, there's Beyond Dark, there's Redemption's Prize, which is another film that Lauren has written and that we are working on casting. And that will Still also go into production. Yeah, we're there's casting it in. There's so much to go through with this vampire redemption crazy crap story. It, it, it gets involved, it gets back to the evilness of vampires and 
their their yes, hearts and not. they don't care about anyone but themselves and pro their proteges and this you know, is forget not it. A cute, cute vampire movie at all. Oh, She's bringing story. back what vampire movies are supposed to be like. So the, the dark aspect. That I've been told it's like in a, a, a mix of interview with a vampire and uh, underworld. Yes. So, without the werewolves. Yes. I, yeah, <laughs> no, not no werewolves right now. I don't know what happens with Redemption's Price too. Who knows? I might be able to bring in some crap. We'll see. Um, but right now it's it's still in very pre-production. I'm still held. She's my co-writer. And we have another co-writer, Chris Privet, yes. on um, Redemption's Price, so we're we're working on that right now. And like she says, we own Dark Films in uh, in May, which I'm really excited about being a strong supporting character with her. Absolutely. And Kenneth Colbert was actually cast as my lead opposite me. He plays mm -hmm. my brother. He plays Reese, my love interest. Yes. <laughs> uh, and that is a it's a very intense dark script, um, and I cannot wait to put this on screen. We've got some amazing opportunities. Okay, we're, we're talking about getting funding. Absolutely. Like multi-million dollar budget type funding. Just to clear so out exciting. the blue from a connection that I made, not even yes. thinking about it. And, and he's like, well, I can do this and that. And we're just being blown away. And we're like, I needed a what money? Bag. Where, I'm like, where's my defibrillator? <laughs> clear, clear. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it is. It goes, douche. Like, <laughs> Okay. So, <laughs> um, so people want to see stuff like this. This is how we really are. <laughs> There's nothing that you're seeing right now that is not real. <laughs> and uh, so through our connections, we're also in several other movies. We actually just got um, casted as the uh, female odd couple. Yes, I forgot about that. Yeah, by uh, Michael, Michael England. England. What's up, Michael? What's up, Michael? If you're watching also, this? the amazing Dina Fields. Yes. She is an author who wrote a book called Eleven Roses, and oh, she man. approached us and asked us to adapt her novel into a screenplay. And I just finished the book a few days ago, and it is amazing. And it is going Did to be a fantastic. Oh, we can't. No, we can't. <laughs> but it's going to be a great. <laughs> she gave us such a great lump of clay, if you will, to mold into a fantastic movie. It's going yeah. to be. It's got your romance. It's got, it's got everything. It's got passion. It's got sad. Parts it's more than just passion. No. <laughs> it's adult it's pornographic light. Like. No, it's not pornographic. Yes, it is. It's not. It's not porn. I said pornographic. I didn't say it was porn. Because that sensual scene was not sensual. That was like. <laughs> I love you, Dina. You're amazing. Your writing is so creative. It's so visually captivating. The the book overall. Is phenomenal. I'm actually. I should be finishing up by the first. She sent me twelve row. The, the twelfth row. I got it. Um, so we have to. There's actually going to be four films because she's writing four novels. Mm -hmm. So I mean, she's blessed us with an amazing opportunity. So we have a lot of a lot stuff of coming down the pipeline. Eight to twelve projects. Yes, it's fantastic. Including Chris Heskey's The Hitchhiker, which is really interesting. Where's that? It's an inspirational okay. film. Oh. That is just in the works for writing script and stuff. But, oh, yeah, you know about it. No, nope. I guess you did. No, you yes, did. you did. I told you about it. We'll be back after this mess. <laughs> <laughs> we're still working on our communication skills. We're still a brand new production we're company. So this is this is actually us. This is who we are. And really, you know, we're not fake. We're not funny. We don't hide anything. We're very open. We're we're honest. Um, like she said, we want to take people with us. Um, as many people as we can because you know we've been blessed we've been and there. we want to bless others yeah but we, we're not gonna hand out because nothing you know we weren't handed anything yes opportunities fell into our laps but it was through hard work and devotion and oh, dedication back of the house where is it's like years of yeah, it's behind the scenes yeah. stuff of, you know working your butt off nothing just gets handed to you uh -huh. so if, if we see that someone's hard working and they want it and they've got the passion and the drive then we are going to offer them a hand up yeah. not a hand out so we love people. We want to give the people the opportunity to succeed and to make shine. Their dreams. Absolutely. Shine. So that's what LM Productions is all about, and we become an official production company January 27th. It's so like excited. two days from now. <laughs> well, we're going to have to still go through some stuff. And it's two days from now. <laughs> but, you know, we still have 31 after that to really sit down and talk about it, you know. What? I don't think I just, just got the through. <laughs> Um, but yes, we will be definitely up and running by January 31st because this is this is real to us. This is our real company. Oh, this is we we still have a lot to look into though. We're doing my nizzle. Because we got people coming along with us that are 
well connected. Yeah. Oh my God, I can't wait to reveal everything. I know. So you can you can um, follow me at least facebook.com slash Michelle Lewis 44 is my acting page. And then Lauren is facebook.com backslash actress L Bolding. And we're also on Instagram. I'm Lauren Bolding. So L O R A N B O L D I N G. I am Lauren Har on Twitter, L O R A N H A R. And then Snapchat is Lauren Bolding as well. Most of mine, except for Facebook, is all LadyBlue07. So um, Instagram, uh, Twitter is actually LadyBlue07Lewis, but you can find it on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat is LadyBlue07, um, and Facebook is just Michelle Lewis. But and all of our projects are linked to LNM Productions. You can look up LNM mm -hmm. Productions. You can find Beyond Dark. You can find Redemption's Price. We're all over the place. So feel free to add us. Feel free to follow us. So, we would also just like to thank League One for the opportunity. Yes. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, League One, for everything. Absolutely. Thank you for the opportunity. And I'd also like to thank my um, agent and manager, Brittany Carter, through Angels Nation, for uh, recommending you to us. So, thank you, Brittany. Thank you, League One. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a great and blessed day. Bye.